Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can deploy your Zabbix server or Zabbix proxies in the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform in under five minutes. Let's start by opening the Zabbix download page, selecting Microsoft Azure Cloud Vendor, and then clicking on the Zabbix Server 6.0 icon. This will redirect you to the Azure Marketplace. Once you have logged into the Azure Marketplace, you can read the product overview, look at pricing plans, and read the reviews. Click the Get It Now button to proceed with deploying the Zabbix server. Confirm your software plan and click the Continue button. You will be redirected to the Zabbix server deployment page. Once again, you have the opportunity to go through a general product overview, check the official documentation, official templates and integrations, as well as other official and community resources. Once you are ready to continue, press the Create button. Next, configure your deployment by going through the different deployment sections. We will start with the basic information such as the resource group, virtual machine name, and deployment region. Here we can also select the size of our virtual machine. Scroll down to the bottom of this section and select the authentication type. For this example, we will use the SSH public key with the default administrator username. Press next and configure the storage disk settings. For our example, we will go with the default disk settings. Press next and configure the network settings for your virtual machine, such as your virtual network, subnet, public IP, security group, and more. Move to the next section and continue with specifying the management settings, such as the diagnostics options, Azure AD, auto shutdown, and more. Move to the Advanced section, where you can provide custom extensions, VM applications, user data, and other advanced configuration parameters. Click Next to move to the Tags section, where you can provide tags for your virtual machine resources. We will provide a custom tag environment with the value Demo. Finally, Move to the Review and Resource Creation section. Confirm your settings and press the Create button to deploy your virtual machine resources. Here you will be able to download your private key for SSH authentication. Don't forget to download and store it in a secure location. Finally, you will be moved to the Deployment Overview. Wait until the deployment is finished for all of your resources. Once the deployment is complete, press the Go to Resource button. Here you can view the general properties of your deployment. Before we can start using Zabbix, we need to connect to the virtual machine to obtain the initial Zabbix username and password. Save the public IP address of the virtual machine and connect to it via SSH. Once you have connected to your virtual machine, you will receive the front-end login credentials. Save the credentials and open the Zabbix front-end by opening the virtual machine public IP address in your browser. Log in with the credentials obtained in the previous step and you're good to go. Now you can proceed with deploying hosts, discovering your infrastructure resources, creating informative dashboards, and use Zabbix in many other ways to collect, process, analyze, and react on your data.